just getting out of that apartment flat hotel now. It is 8 o'clock and it's time for breakfast apparently, so let's get out of here. <laughs> So I'm trying to record my video and all I can hear is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but times a hundred. Looks like the sun might be trying to come out. Anyway, one thing you won't know is that this is still Beijing, apparently. We drove for th over three hours yesterday in one direction, north, and we're still in Beijing. Like, obviously not the city center, but this is still Beijing. <laughs> That's crazy. Three hours in a straight line and you're still in the same city. Province, I guess. Province. The same province. Because it's not the city, is it? But still. You don't think of Beijing and think of this. It's been a long time since I've been on a swing. It's still fun. This place is okay, but I think it's still a little too cold. Okay, I'm up in the small treehouse thing. Yeah. Let's go across this bridge. Go. Yeah, go. Whoa, I see you. Ladies first. Now it's my turn to cross this little rope bridge. Whoa. Not sure how safe it is, but I guess if she crossed it, I should be able to cross it. Over there, there's sunshine. Over here, there's none. So we're gonna run over there and get some sun. <laughs> Finally, the sun is out. 
So for future reference, this is where we are, Yunze Gu, Yunze Valley. And yeah, it is a beautiful. So I've decided at some point in my life, I want to buy like a patch of land. Kind of like fun for Louis' idea, just buy a patch of land and make some kind of really good to the earth kind of house project thing where I'm using like the sunlight, the water that's passing through, letting the animals thrive on there and just living with nature. But under one condition, it must have Wi-Fi and it must have phone signal. Here has no internet and no phone signal. No We're like completely, animal. this is the first time since I've been on a plane that I've had like no Wi-Fi, no phone signal. Like together at the Only same time high. for more than like a patch, just like an entire two days. <sighs> anyway, that's my idea. I really like this place, but it needs the internet. <laughs> There's not a lot to do except for look at flowers and stuff. It's very beautiful. There's a farm going on and all that stuff. Needs internet though. And then at least I can upload the pictures and videos that I take. My Instagram, my YouTube, all that lot. Pepper and corn and mountains and sky. Ah, it's nice. Oh, and friendly dog. <laughs> Thought while I'm here I'll do a quick Q&A. There's no questions. So Q&A is finished. All right, let's continue. This is a baby sweet potato, <laughs> but we can eat it. It's very tasty. And this is tea. Being followed by my little friend. Wanna say hello, doggy? <laughs> he just appeared out of nowhere. Driver's just got here, so that concludes our trip, and now it's back to Beijing. I wonder what the weather's like in Beijing. We are in Beijing, but this is like well out, so I wonder what the weather's like in the city. All right, it's time to go. Lock the door for the last time. Oh, we're finally out of the car and heading back by subway. My first time taking Line 15 subway. Interesting. Finally out of the subway and back in Beijing city. And now we're going to the supermarket because I want to get some milk so I can have some coffee or tea or something. And I don't know, maybe a snack or two. I don't know if she wants anything. So tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. We're both tired. And have work tomorrow at 8.40. Yay! Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Finally back home, edited a couple of videos, uploaded one of them, another one's on the way. I need to get some sleep. And then tomorrow I can finally catch up on all the videos. <sighs> yes. Alright. I'm gonna go. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and Stephen will see you tomorrow too. Goodbye.